Puppetry Project Update. So this is Lux, my Cheshire cat. Uh, you may or may not have seen me post a video of him earlier. Um, he's the puppet that I've been working on for my uh, final year at Humber. So we've made significant number of changes to him since I last posted. Uh, I'm going to kind of go in order of operations. So the first thing that is very different is his teeth. Uh, his teeth are made out of a modeling clay. They're actually very hard, um, almost rock hard, and they're not quite sharp because I didn't want them to actually be dangerous, but like if I had been left to my own somewhat crazy devices, I probably would have just made them sharp so that I could bite things, I guess. Um, I don't know. So they're made out of clay. Uh, the way that I did them was... So first I had foam placeholders because I wasn't sure like what size each tooth should be because uh, like obviously teeth aren't all the same size, right? So I put foam placeholders in. Then when I liked the foam placeholders, I went through a couple of different methods of trying to transfer them into a harder, more realistic material. Um, oh my gosh, my cat is here. I'll never be able to get her on screen. This is my real cat, not my puppet cat. Maud, what do you th what do you think of this guy? She doesn't give a shit about him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, yo, know, she's like really uh, hard to get on camera and like not interested in anything ever. Do you, do you love him? Are you now best friends? Okay, that's that's it. That's enough of trying to get her on camera. She's like, oh, good. You gonna step on my keyboard? Okay. All right. Um. <laughs> so yes. Uh, his teeth. Uh, dremeled, painted. Um, it took me like actually a full day of dremeling each tooth and then gluing it back on. I think mostly because. I'm a crazy person and like I needed each tooth to be individually perfect um, so he has really nice teeth uh, which is which is great um, then uh, so I glued them back on with hot glue there's so much hot glue in this project this project is like 90% hot glue and uh, painted them then I put these gums on and the gums are strips of warbler and if you look really closely, uh, you will see that they have like little lumps. Uh, that's because like dogs and cats have like really lumpy, gross gums. Um, and like, also it kind of is going to obscure the seam line a little bit more um, when we actually put the fur on, I think. So I did that. Uh, then I put the eyes in. Uh, the eyes I made earlier, they were probably the first thing that I made. And they kind of gave me the courage to continue with this project. Uh, as you can see, they're like shockingly realistic. Um, I credit that to like, not only the fact that I'm like a pretty adequate painter, but also because uh, they're painted inside of Christmas ornaments, like clear Christmas ornaments, which gives them the shine of like a real human eye and is something that you couldn't replicate, like no matter how much varnish uh, you put on it. Uh, that's not my original idea. I would like love to take credit for coming up with that, but um, Everything that I've done in this project is something that I found through other tutorials. Like, there's no, like, original um, ideas here. Um, so, yeah, basically, it's paper mache inside of Christmas ornaments and then painted. Uh, it's blacklight reactive paint, which means it's going to glow under blacklight. And I am frequently in blacklight type situations, so I think that's going to be really cool. Then they're hot glued in there. Um, and then I put a layer of warbler down and painted it to cover up the hot glue because, uh, that's also blacklight reactive. So it's going to look like he has blacklight eye boogers, which we really don't want. Um, then the other things that we have going on here are we have his tongue. Uh, it's this weird, like quadruple snake tongue because he's a demon. Uh, and also because the tongue, what its purpose is in this puppet, beyond the fact that all animals have tongues, is um, it kind of holds the whole thing together. Like, it is attaching both sides, basically. And then uh, because it's foam, it's pushing against itself. So it pushes the, the mouth that it wants to open. And then I push down to make it closed, which is uh, way easier than me kind of pulling it open 
and having it want to drop naturally closed. Uh, so that's basically where I'm at with him. I'm going to be continuing to work on him some more today. And uh, as soon as there's any more like dramatic changes in him, uh, I will, I will post more.